farming in Ghana is said to do well in dry climatic condition, let's find out more about orange farming here in Suhum, whether or not that is the kind of condition it does well more under. My name is Enyonam and this is Ghanaian Farmer. The show is proudly brought to you by Lizzie Tomato Mix. If you go to the market in your shopping, remember to buy Lizzie to cook all your meal in the house. It gives you a great and delicious taste. You can share your views with us on social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube. It's the Ghanaian Farmer. And I have here with me Mr. Samuel Akbalu. He is the owner of Three Acre Orange Farm here in Suhum. Thanks for joining me, Samuel. And congratulations. Thank you. Now, what inspired you to go into orange farming? Uh, I once visited a, a colleague farmer mm. at uh, Titicasu, who was also into citrus. And then I inquired from him the profitability about the, uh, the, that business. Then he introduced me that it is very profitable. So I also consulted the extension offices and I acquired some knowledge data from them and then also started the, that be the business. Okay, so how long has it been since you started planting or growing oranges? Uh, I started it somewhere to 2014. 2014. Uh, one acre, 2014. Mm -hmm. Then the next, the following year, 2015, mm -hmm. another one acre, mm -hmm. and then 2016, one acre. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. It's been a long journey. How is the experience like? Uh, anyway, very tedious, okay. but... Uh, it pays off. Uh, yes. I see. <laughs> now, let's talk about the kind of land or soil texture that gives oranges the room to grow well. Uh, orange does well in loamy soil, mm -hmm. where we have mixture of clay mm -hmm. and then the sand, not purely sandy. Mm -hmm. God can retain water for mm -hmm. a long period of time okay. to help the seedlings to grow well. Right. After cultivation, if I want to go into three acres, of orange farming, how many nursery do I need? Seedlings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seedlings. Uh, one acre mm -hmm. takes 100 seedlings. Okay, so three acres is, is about 300. 300. How much is one seedling? As at now, mm -hmm. it's three cities. Three cities. But seedling. when you bought it, it was? Those days, uh -huh. one city, 50 pesos. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you plant orange, how yeah. long does it take for me to see this? It depends on the variety. Which variety do we have here now? We have the late Valencia, we have the, tang the tangerine. And this is the tangerine, right? Yes, this mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. And then we have the yesu moja. <laughs> that one? <laughs> Actually, the yesu moja uh -huh. bears fruit earlier. Faster? Faster. Than the rest? Yes. Okay. Because uh, I, over there, mm -hmm. uh, I planted it somewhere 2016, oh. about four or five years now. and then. They have started bearing fruits. I okay. even started two years ago. So even if you plant them at a go, one will definitely bear fruit before the other. Yeah, Is depending on the variety. Depending on the variety. Yes. And you have three varieties here. Yes. So when are we expecting you to start harvesting? Oh, I started harvesting about two years ago. You've already started harvesting? Yeah. So how long, long do I harvest my orange farm for? Uh, it starts bearing fruit. Mm -hmm four years after planting, okay. mm -hmm. but the yield will not be enough. Okay. As the tree grows, mm -hmm. then the, the yield will be, will be increasing. increasing. Okay, so that's how it is. Yes. So how many sacks are you able to get from three acre orange farm when you're harvesting? In a week, how many times do you harvest, first of all? Do you it's harvest weekly twice, or monthly? No, okay. twice in a, a year. Twice in a year? Yeah, okay, we have so, the major season. Mm, and then the minor season. Okay. So if you're harvesting, yes. like you said it now, if you come round, how many sacks are you able to get? It depends on the the maturity of the tree. Okay. As the tree grows and expands its mm -hmm. canopies, mm. then the yield will be more. Okay. So at the at the, the on, onset, mm -hmm. you have a few fruits, mm. but as the tree grows and expands, then the fruit will grow the more. Fruit will be more. Okay, how much is an, a, a sack of uh, tangerine? It depends on the season. Season? And then so the season the, determines the price? Yes, sometimes. If, especially the minor season, mm -hmm. where we have uh, the fruits are not all that much, demand will be high, okay. and then the price will sometimes go up. Mm. But then when the 
uh, the May season where everybody is harvesting. Uh, is harvesting. Okay. Actually, the price, the price drops a bit. Drops a bit. Yes. Okay. In that case, the amount invested into this farming, are you able to make up? After sales, yes, mm. it, it, this one is a long term investment. Okay, you, you so can't it's bit just buy bits, uh, yes, get the, the returns mm. in a, just a year mm. or two. Okay, uh -huh. as you, you, the year goes by, mm. you will be getting uh, a lot of money. okay. So let's look at the market demand. Yes, when the marketers come around, or when you take it to the market, which one is more in demand? Is it the tangerine the, the or tangerine, the orange? The tangerine is, uh -huh. the, the cost is somehow costly. Okay. Uh -huh. the, 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 the cost of the tangerine, mm. 100 fruits, mm -hmm. sometimes at the farm, mm -hmm. they can buy it around 25 cities. Okay. 400 pieces? 400 pieces. And so we met more than one CD? Yes. Okay. Okay. I see. You can even sell it one CD. 50 pesos mm. in Accra mm. and people will buy. They will still buy? Yes. Okay. So now let's talk about labor. This is a three-acre farm. Yes. How do you, uh, you know, have access to labor? Do you do it all alone or you have people who No, I have uh, four casual okay. laborers. Mm. So they help me at the weeding mm. and then pruning of the citrus. Mm. Uh, when I pay them, they, when, whenever the work is available, mm. I call them, they come in to assist me. Okay. What are some of the basic works you come to do when you come to the farm? What are some of the things you do? Uh, weeding. Mm -hmm. We do uh, uh, spraying to control insects, mm -hmm. and then sometimes we apply fertilizer when they need a rice. Okay. And then when the fruit falls on the ground uh -huh. to enhance hygienic environment, okay. we pick the rotting fruits and then you, we bury them. Okay. Just to avoid the spread of diseases. I see. Mm -hmm. All right, so at this point, I'm going for a break. When I come back, we'll touch on the diseases All right. that affect Orange Farm. Okay. So viewers, you're still watching The Ghanaian Farmer. My name is Enyunam, and standing next to me is Samuel Akbalu, three-acre orange farmer here in Suhum. I'll be right back after this. Thanks for staying with us. You're still watching The Ghanaian Farmer on Joy Prime. My name is Enyunam, and today's discussion is on orange farming here in Suhum. And Mr. Akbalo is still here with me. So whilst we went on break, or before we're going on break, I said when we come back, we'll talk about the diseases that affect orange farm. Is there any, and what are they? Okay, one uh, peculiar disease which mostly affects citrus is uh, anthracnose. Hey, a dinosaur. Chere, chere. Anthracnose, it leaves some scars on the, on the fruits. Okay. That Does it a, go deep into the fruit? Yes. It will, the spotted part will be uh -huh. very hard. Oh, I've seen and that then, a couple of uh, times. Yeah, with time, the, the fruit will fall. Okay. Okay, so apart from that, what else? Is that the only thing that worries Orange Farm? Oh, there are other diseases, mm. but these are, this, this one is... Is a, it an annual thing or it comes every month or any day, any time it comes? Uh, it depends on the, uh, some agronomic practices. If okay. you... It doesn't like humid environment. Right. So if you don't prune the, the branches uh -huh. and then the distance, if you plant the, uh, the seedlings close. Okay. Uh, it's it likely to get spread. such disease. Uh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now let's move on to talk about um, the labor that you hire yes. to work with. You told me you have casual workers. Yes. So what are the times they come to help you on the farm? Uh, they come in when... There is a, there are some work at the farm, okay. especially weeding, mm -hmm. and then uh, spraying of his mm. pesticide mm. to control pests. Okay, uh -huh. they come in to help. All right. So at this point that you've started harvesting, you said you've harvested once already, or you are yet to start. Last year I harvested twice. Last year you harvested twice. Yes. But this year. You are, yet to, to, you are yet to start. Harvest. So in a year, you harvest twice. Twice. Okay, so for how long will you keep harvesting before you, you realize or decide the trees are no more fertile and you have to cut them off? Uh, it depends on the age. Okay. Uh -huh. So how long and can an orange tree stay for? It can last about 25, 30 years. Wow. Yes. If only you maintain the farm, okay. you do all cultural practices, pruning, right. uh -huh. and then control mist turtles. Uh -huh. and 
if yeah. you if you if you adhere to the These, process yes you will be fine it yes. can last for a very long time yes okay now let's years. talk about the land you are farming on yes. have you bought it or is it leased land i bought it you bought it yes okay so everything is for your farm yes it is not for anybody yes okay now let's look at the profitability of orange farming would you say it's a profitable venture yes it's a very profitable venture mm. because just a tree mm -hmm. can bear about thousand fruits wow with time as the canopies expand okay one tree can bear thousand fruits and if you're able to how are you able to count and realize that and a thousand fruit yes averagely uh -huh. we can harvest about 10 20 trees Okay. And then we find an average. Ah. With that, it can give you a picture. Okay, of how, how many yeah, pieces of orange you can find on one tree. tree. I see. So mm -hmm. from your point of view, it is profitable. Yes. Okay. I'm told by some farmers that the women who come to buy, at times, determine the prices. Do you also face a challenge? That one depends on the accessibility to the farm. Okay. If the farm is too far from the roadside, uh -huh. then it, the, you the buyer that. has to... Uh, hire some labor to carry the fruit to the roadside before loading it to wherever he wants to take mm. it to. So mm. uh, the accessibility mm -hmm. also determines the, 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 that one. I see. Uh -huh. Okay. For my, uh -huh. because the farm is accessible, mm. we just have cars, we mm. just enter mm -hmm. the farm and mm. park. So okay. I don't have that. Challenge. At this point or at this stage of the farming, do you still apply fertilizer? Yes. So the crop we, we uh, the don't, tree can still produce? We, we I normally apply the organic pottery manure. Okay. Uh -huh. At the onset, I use that to boost growth. Uh, so we, periodically, mm. I do that. All right. Now, I know orange is one of the favorite fruits I take a lot. But at times, when you, you know, suck... Oh my goodness, some of them is very, very bitter. bitter. You will feel it here. What leads to that? Because I tested one of these and it is really nice. Why are the others like that? It depends on the... Sometimes uh -huh. if the demand is very high, okay. and then farmers realize that uh, they will harvest and get money. They will not harvest while the fruit is... They will harvest while the fruit is not even matured. Ah. And that determines the sweetness of the fruit. Oh, I see. Yes. And you're even telling me this is not ready for yes, harvesting yet. It's ready, but okay. the color is still green. Okay. So in our, You want it to be yellow? Yes, yellow. So that Why? It when it's just, green, the buyers don't like? When it is green, it doesn't attract. Ah. So if you see it, you may think that it will not be sweet. Uh -huh. uh huh. So when the color comes, uh -huh. the moment you you set your eyes mm. on it, will mm. attract you, mm. and you buy. Mm. I know government has a few, you know, subsidy on some of the inputs you buy yes. for your farms. As a farmer, when you're going to buy all these things, do you experience the subsidies? Uh, we mostly experience these subsidies from products from the. Mofa offices. The Mofa offices. Okay. But if you go to the uh, those uh, the outlets, independent shops, then you don't. Uh, you, you will not get, it. get that uh, subsidy. Okay. Yes. But but so as a farmer, what has been the major challenge for you in this line of farming? In this line of farming, mm -hmm. my major challenge is the uh, the insects. Okay. The fruit borers. Uh -huh. They disturb us a lot. Okay. They will just pin the fruit, uh -huh. and then create some wounds on it and then to be infected by some uh, fungus and then the fruit will fall. One time I bought orange, maybe a munu, gogomi was inside. Uh, what led to that? It's because of the fruit borers. They will pin the fruit uh -huh. and that will create an, an entry point for infection. Ah. And then my, um, uh, some bacteria will infect the fruits okay. and then it will fall. All right. Mm. What, what have you learned so far for this past years you've been in orange farming that you can share with someone who is watching and probably is motivated by your story to also go into orange farming? All right. I can say that uh, mm. it's very uh, profitable. Mm. If only mm -hmm. you do it well, okay. you also get some good returns. Mm. Because just a, 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 a tree mm -hmm. bearing about a thousand fruits mm. at a farm, you can sell a hundred fruit for 
15 cities. Mm. So with just uh, one tree, mm -hmm. you can get about 100 and... So, so the returns is so really return good. Is good. Now, quick one. Uh, I mean, the last one. I see this place is really plain. Why? Are you not permitted to plant any other crop oh. at this level of the orange? You are permitted. Okay. It depends on the canopy. Okay. You know, when the canopy is The canopy is means the branch. Broad, okay. Yeah, you, the, if you plant mm -hmm. any crops mm -hmm. under, it mm -hmm. may not get enough sunlight ah. to perform. So that's the only reason? That is the only reason. Okay. Oh, okay. But with this, you can plant cow peas mm -hmm. between the, the roots mm. to conserve moisture mm -hmm. and to also improve the soil mm. fertility. Okay. All right. Samuel Akbalu. Yes, madam. Ewa man, who doesn't speak Ewa? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there you have it. An interesting and great conversation about orange farming here in Suhum and his throw more light on his journey and how fun it's been with a little bit of challenge in there. But at this point, I'm going for 60 seconds on our break. When I come back, a MOFA officer will join me to throw more light on the technical you know kind of support they give to those farmers to ensure that at the end of the day when they are harvesting they will smell and not frown their faces and you need this more for officers anytime you are aspiring to become a farmer stay tuned i'll be right back after this was 60 seconds on our Greek. You're still watching the Ghanaian farmer. My name is Enyonam and joining me now is Mr. Samuel Yao Ofori. He's a MOFA officer here who go around uh, every farm to help farmers with regards to the kind of situation you are facing. Now, quick one, before we talk about the support or the help you give to farmers, I realize this particular orange has a spot here. Yeah. Now, what causes this? Yeah, it's a fungus uh that causes that. Uh, in the fruit or the crop uh, production, mm -hmm. we have uh, fungus, bacteria, and viral. Okay. They are mostly those uh, the diseases that affect plants. Yeah, so the fungus at times comes from the soil. Okay. And it tra is transmitted to the plant. Mm. Yeah, so we try to advise them to have a good knowledge about the causes of disease of the plant. So this is a, a fungus disease. I know with yeah. cocoa, yes. when you have that kind of infection and you don't, you know, remove or detach it from the plant to go and plant it or some bury it somewhere, it affects the whole, you know, tree. Yeah. Is it the same thing with oranges too? Yeah, it is. This one, the, the, the sign that or the, mm. the scar that mm -hmm. you are seeing there, mm. it has already laid some eggs in okay. it. Ah. And it's, through that, it's also the end result will be mm. fruit dropping. Okay. The fruit will drop. And if you don't collect and bury, mm. it's really transmitted back to the plants. Okay. So we normally advise them on farm hygiene. Mm. As you can see, mm -hmm. the farm is very clean. Mm. Uh, it's not weedy. When it is cleared and the fruits are those infected ones, you try to pick them and bury them so that you, you bury the disease. Mm. Uh -huh. So that is what we do. With your experience working with fruit farmers, yeah. I know vegetable people have a, a few challenges, especially with export. Many times we hear the foreign countries placing ban on vegetables from you know being exported to their countries. How is the fruit people? What is theirs like? Yes, uh, it, I mean it's it cuts across. Okay. Because 
if you your your final fruits, mm -hmm. uh, the appearance, mm -hmm. uh, the quality, mm -hmm. if it's not of the best, mm -hmm. it affects the, the 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 market value. Okay. In terms of bargaining for good price and all that. Okay. So even though you are not exporting, mm. the local market, if you You still have to adhere have to, to the... But so, uh, the yeah. farmers are aware of this secret you are just revealing, that if you do not adhere to the good agronomy practices and the fruit is not of good standard, it will be rejected. Are they aware of this? Yes, uh, to some extent, because it's not all the farmers that are taking the advice of the technical offices. Why is it like Yes, that? that's why we are encouraging that most of the farming communities should form groups. Okay. You know, because of the extension farmer ratio, it's difficult for us to get to every farmer in the community or operational area. So we advise that when they form their groups and then we come to educate them, then the dissemination of Some this Some of these educations will come will go very okay. far. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So does it mean that when it comes to the more far extension officers ratio to farmers is inadequate. Yeah, it's in, it previously it was uh, a, a farmer to mm -hmm. a 2,000 farmer to an extension, but now it has been reduced to at least about 900 to 1,000. I see, but there could be of there could the be government intervention right. through the NAPCO and okay. all that now. But but, but we can still do more. We can do better. Yes, we can do better. Yeah. Now let's quickly jump onto the kind of help. Yeah. When you go to those farms, what do you do? What do you tell them? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. First and foremost, before even venturing into the citrus farming, mm -hmm. we need to give you an advice. Okay. It's not every location that you can do the citrus. Ah, I see. You ask the farmer right. the type of soil and mm -hmm. he did mm -hmm. mention. Mm. So we uh, advise you on the site selection okay. and then the source of the seedlings. Mm. Uh, you need to have your, because the end results start with, you know, the beginning. Okay. Yeah, so we try to advise you. Mm. Other farmers do their own, you know... Uh, uh, Soil testing? No, uh, the, the nursery. Okay. They, they, they go to farms, mm. they see their fruit is... Nice. Nice. They just try Walk to, it. you know, propagate by themselves. But we always advise That's not them, a good practice. No, okay. to go to the source. Okay. That's why he mentioned the, mm. he went to uh, Kade. Okay. That is a government institution that is recognized for, mm. uh, you know... So when you come, we help you to uh, peg the farm, mm. that is to plant them in rows. Okay. So that okay. Uh, working mm. Mm. and direct mm. will be, uh, you know, easily for mm. you. And if there is a problem with a particular plant, you can replace okay. immediately. All right. Yeah. So that is the beginning stage. And then we also encourage them to interplant uh, before the you know, crops will form the canopy so that uh, you, you maximize profit from the, the land. Okay, so um, it means yeah. that there's a lot of help yes. you can get from the MOFA officers when you contact them before even starting off the farming journey. My name is Anyunam and this has been Ghanaian Farmer. It's always exciting. I learn a lot anytime I visit the farm. And here is Mr. Samuel yeah, Ufo, he says it's a lot of investment to get the six pack or is it 12 pack? <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next week.